What's up guys? BMAC here. Just wanted to uh, make a quick video on uh, what I've learned so far with charging batteries and uh, balanced chargers and uh, how you should go about getting the most bang for your buck and uh, the quickest way to charge. So I spent uh, more than you know the bare minimum and got this IMAX B6 charger and at the time I just thought I could charge one battery with it because it came with basically an XT60 connector and a couple other connectors and then I found out about balance chargers uh, so I picked one up and I bought the wrong one right here this one has Dean's connectors so that's a mistake I made hopefully save you guys the trouble of having to buy these Deems to XT60 converters. So I think I gave like maybe oh twelve dollars for these four. So it cost me an extra twelve dollars instead of having these directly on here. I'm pretty savvy savvy with soldering, so I actually thought about trying to unsolder these, and I attempted to, but they are on there so well that I just decided screw it, and I already had these. So if I want to charge more than four at a time. Uh, which I currently can't do, then I'll need more connectors. So basically, uh, my, one of my questions was, which one of these do I plug into? It doesn't matter. Um, you plug in your battery's XT60 connect. Actually, I'm sorry. You plug in the balance connector first. These go from S1 to S6. So whatever your battery is, this is an S4. So it would go into uh, this slot right here and then uh, I'll go ahead and do it just well let me get some batteries that need to be charged so I'll, I'll do that so I got these tattoo 1300 milliamp batteries I used these today oh my god they are smoking fast um, I'm really impressed with these so I would uh, hook these up to the balance charger first plugs in just like that and one thing I don't like about these is their cords are so short, but it actually uh, probably helps because it doesn't come undone so easy, and if it does, it's got less of a chance to smack into your propellers. All right, so the balance cord is plugged in. Now I'll plug in the XT60. Alright, so I got those plugged in, and uh, I bought this LiPo bag. Technically I should probably have these in here when I'm charging it, but I use this as uh, storage. I've got some extra batteries. Um, I keep uh, this battery tester in here, so I can quickly plug it up like this. and. Uh, You can see that this battery is still pretty much fully charged. And I'll show you one that is not charged, that needs to be charged. Three point seven, three point seven. So it goes through all the cells. This is a S3, so there's only three. So this battery needs to be charged. I'll do that later. Um, you can only, well, as far as I know, you can only charge like batteries at the same time. These are S, uh, 4S, and so are these, but this is a 1800 milliamp, and these are a 1300. I don't know if you can get away with it. I would assume you could get away with like a 13 and a 1500, but uh, rather than chance it on these more expensive, more high quality batteries, I'm just going to charge these two. So the process is pretty simple. You get this IMAX B6. Uh, this is a, actually a knockoff. It's much cheaper than the Sky RC. The Sky RC is pretty much identical in looks, um, but if you watch some reviews, you'll see it has like a little bit better components on the inside. This is a copy, a Chinese copy, but I got this for like $15. Uh, 
one problem with this one is it does not come with the um, battery that I mean the the uh, power source that you need for it. So um, you have to pick up a five amp, twelve volt power source, and I have one of those right here. The link will be in the description to get this. It's you have to pick it up separately. So the first thing you do is you plug it in. And I'm going to try to zoom in here. And it's going to say LiPo charge 2 amp. Uh, you're going to hit right to go to LiPo balance. And since these are 4S batteries, you'll see it right here. If I needed to change that, I would hit enter. This would start blinking. I want to charge at 4 amps. That's basically 2 amps per battery. And then uh, if I if, say these were 3S, I'd hit this down this button right here and it changes it to a 3S. But since they're 4, um, I'll leave it like that. I'll hit enter. And then uh, to start the charge, you press and hold the enter button. And it checks the battery. It asks you to confirm. You hit enter. And that's basically it. Now it's charging these two tattoo. Sorry, I had an interruption there. So after it starts, you see uh, these numbers ticking away. It's a balanced charge. It's charging these two tattoo 1300 batteries on uh, the balanced charger. And if I had six of these, I could do the exact same thing. I would want to change the amps though. Uh, to reflect you know how many batteries I have and uh, there's a calculation for that this will take roughly an hour to charge um, and after it's done it'll say full it'll beep and then uh, you want to Disconnect the XT60 connectors first, and then uh, um, unplug your balance connector. And what I like to do now is, let's say this battery is full because it is. I have been 3D printing these little uh, XT60 caps that go over them, and then I stick them in the bag. And when they have this cap on here. I know they're brand new. And uh, you really should pick up one of these fireproof bags, spe spe specifically one with the zipper all the way around because there's a lot of cheaper models. This one wasn't that bad. I think it was only like $10. Um, and you can see it'll fit like at least 10 batteries in here. Uh, and I even sometimes throw in the charger and uh, antennas, backup stuff like straps, and uh, there's a little wrench for uh, for my props. So that's all backup stuff. And I kind of use it as a little kit right now, a two millimeter. Um, I kind of use it as a kit right now, but I'd like to separate this because really the, the purpose of this bag is if any of these lipos catch on fire, it uh, contains the fire to this bag, so really I'd be burning up like all my extra stuff if one of these lipos were to catch fire. So ultimately, eventually I will come up with a toolkit, or uh, move all this extra stuff over to the toolkit, and uh, then use this exclusively for batteries, especially as I get more and more batteries. I'm hoping to get about 15 batteries, maybe less, maybe 10. 10 would be good. And uh, yeah, so that should hopefully answer the questions that I needed answered when I was uh, first starting out with this hobby. So pick yourself up any charger um, that's decent quality. I kind of recommend this IMAX B6. It works well for me. Um, pick up a balanced charger with XT60 connectors on the board. 
unlike I did. Uh, and uh, then also pick up your 5 amp 12 volt power source. And uh, also get one of these fireproof bags with the full zipper, not the folds because the folds look too easy for, for uh, fire to escape from the cracks if you ask me. So, And you know if you keep keeping other things in it you don't want stuff falling out of those little holes in the side and stuff too. So so uh, that should be that should be it. So I'm going to charge these. Then I'll move on to my three S's. Uh, I will, you know, come in here, change this down to a three S from a four, start the process over again, and that should be it. Because I didn't use these big bulky Zop power batteries today, and I'm not a big fan of these. They, uh, they're really heavy and they don't provide the extra boost like you would think. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. We'll talk to you later and see you in the next video. Thanks. Hey, thanks for watching the video. I'm going to leave a couple videos right here and right here. And if you'd like to subscribe, click on my face right here.